Praise the Lord. This is Preacher Warren. What wonderful weather we have out here today. The wonderful Castle gave us wonderful weather. Oh, it's going from spring and going on into the summertime. I believe we're going to have a Holy Ghost time. Listen, I want to encourage all my friends out there. I thank God uh, for all your encouraging words out there. I want to teach you how to laugh. You know, I'm a different kind of preacher. I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old up in the streets of Harlem, even in church revivals. If you ever want to see me on YouTube, just go on YouTube and type Preacher Warren in action. Uh, Preacher Warren Summer Revivals. I got YouTube from 2015, 2014. I mean, even further than that. You can go on YouTube. You can go to Apostle Warren David Adams. I was with Dana as an apostle um, years ago, but I like to be called Preacher Warren because it's simple and to the point. They nicknamed me Preacher Warren. But you want to go to Apostle Warren David Adams, Flame of Fire 2014, uh, Holy Ghost Make Me Fly. You see all my YouTube videos, and I believe you enjoy it. A kind of unique preacher. You see me on the basketball court dunking the Bible. I, I rather dunking the basketball with the Bible in my hand. They put it on cable television. Why used to come on TV on MNN? up in Manhattan. I used to come on Bronx Net television. I used to come on in the Bronx and also coming on TV also in Manhattan. So I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old. And the reason why I mention this because I'm a very unique preacher. Most of the time when you see preachers, they look so mean and so evil. They wear the suits and the ties, all that is nice. I like to wear suits, I like to wear ties, but some of them be looking mean like, man, they look like they wanna kill everybody. You see, ain't got no love. And, me, I always been a unique preacher. I would go on the basketball courts and give services with the kids in the basketball court playing basketball. They was getting saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. And I would take my keyboard and go on the projects and play for the little kids and the little babies up there praising God. If you want to go to my Facebook page, just go to Warren Adams. You see all my photographs. Me and my wife, Priscilla, started the prayer list. Praise God. We've been feeding the homeless for years. We've only been married for two years. Praise God. But she had her own ministry like I had my own ministry before we actually got married. Her feeding the homeless and helping folk in housing. But I want to talk about laughter. And the reason why I said this because there's so many church people who preach to you about Jesus. Yet they mean evil. Just as miserable. <laughs> I mean, I know the Bible said they that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. But the Bible also said many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. Praise God. There are those who probably would judge me now. Are you not supposed to be wearing a baseball cap? Because the Bible said that you prophesy with your head covered. And a man told me that. I said, well, it's, it's hot out here. And I got a cap saying Jesus, Jesus loves you. That ain't going to stop souls from getting saved because I'm wearing a, a baseball Jesus cap. Now, when I'm preaching indoors uh, in a church, I don't wear a hat. Because I'm indoors. If I'm outside, if it's raining, or if it's snowing, God understands that he don't want me to get sick. I mean, it's just common sense. And some of you church folk who are judgmental don't do nothing. They just sit around, gossip, backbite, talking about people, having passed out a track, ain't winning the souls, just on the Instagram all day, getting the folk business. So half of these people who quote scripture and judgmental don't do nothing themselves, but just sit there and be lazy. God had me in the vineyard since I was six preaching up in the blizzards, up in the snow, up in the subways, not just only in the churches, but going where preachers would not go at, winning souls, preaching out in shootouts. Bullets flying everywhere and the souls still getting saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. So God ain't going to stop winning the souls because I'm wearing the baseball cap. <laughs> what do you mean by that, preacher one? We got so many judgmental people in church that it caused people not want to come to church because you're so judgmental. Always criticizing people, always putting people down. You never have an encouraging word to say to nobody. You see, we should at least learn how to encourage each other. We should at least learn how to say a kind word to somebody. But there's a lot of folk who got so deep in church, they're always very critical. Never got nothing good to say. Oh, yeah, you and your Bible, but you got hate in the heart. O other words, you have a mouth full of scriptures, but a heart full of hate. The devil knows the Bible better than we do, but he has no love. This is how you know a Christian by the love. So now you don't got so deep that you don't laugh. You don't smile. Man, you making folks scared to come to church. 
because you're always evil. I saw a folk one time in church <laughs> arguing over chicken. I said, you, you're there arguing over fried chicken in the church. A fist fight one time broke out in the church years ago fighting over fried chicken. That's my chicken. No, I, I cooked the chicken. No, I, my chicken better than your chicken. You know, they, they had a fist fight in the church. This is years ago. I was a teenager. All this over chicken and collard greens and macaroni and shit. I mean, come on, come on, come on. That's ridiculous. And the devil just sitting back just laughing. He said, I ain't got to fight against y'all. Y'all already fighting against each other. Come on, come on. This is ridiculous. Why they all that shouting? Are they all that dancing? Are they all that running around the church? You got a mouth full of scriptures, but a heart full of hatred because your heart is not merry. Look what the Bible declares about laughter. I like this right here. We're going to talk about laughter. Praise God. I have the other scripture in my mind. Okay. Let me go to the other scripture. It talks about laughter. Praise God. I believe it's somewhere in Proverbs. Because folk need to learn how to laugh. You need to learn how to smile. Because now you've been so depressed so long. Then my God, you trying to tell others about the joy of the Lord, and yet you ain't got no joy. Then you just wearing a mask. You ever saw those families that look like they're happy and they stand together? They look like one big happy family. Like the Brady Bunch of the Partridge family. But behind the scenes, there's abuse going on. There's hatred going on. Sometimes you got enemies in your own family. Sometimes family will do you worse than folk that's not in your family. Let's talk about laughter. Learn how to smile. Learn how to make yourself happy. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Tell yourself, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Too anointed to be disappointed. Don't got to take no drug overdose because all you need is the Holy Ghost. Getting the Holy Ghost is better than taking a drug overdose. That's how much God loves you. Sometimes you must encourage yourself. There's nothing wrong with encouraging yourself because sometimes you got people always putting you down. Even in church, they give you a low self-esteem in yourself. Learn how to laugh. What did the Bible say about laughter? Praise God. We're going to go to it. Hmm. The enemy don't want me to find it, but I'm going to find this. Let's go to part two.